Blessed afternoon, collective. How's it going? How you feeling? How are you experiencing the energies right now? It's picking up speed. Uh, there's no more trying to hang on. It's just let go. <laughs> let go, let it be. Whatever is in the current moment, just flow with it because trying to resist is becoming it's becoming clearer and clearer that resistance is futile. Uh, it benefits no one. It changes nothing. It only creates more suffering. And, uh... Yeah, there's, there's a tension. I can feel a tension within me, certainly, but it is broader than myself. Um, it's time to let things go. There feels like a realization. There, there are realizations taking place, epiphanies. A lot of inner conversations had as the result of outer experience. Uh, revelations, uncomfortable truths, certainly a witnessing of patterns, things repeating, and a recognition that there must be a choice made not to participate in that pattern any longer. If we want to break the cycle, we stop participating in that cycle, and it takes a deliberate choice to do that. There is a feeling of, there's, there's an actual desire. There is a desire for a change. We're coming into the second Aries new moon, which means it's reactivating. It's a throwback to the energy of the previous Aries new moon last month. And on that day, uh, there was also an aspect between Jupiter and Saturn, a semi-square, I believe. So a tense aspect, but one that requires cooperation, essentially. It's a revisiting of that, of if you haven't cooperated with that, if you haven't started learning the lessons and expanding perception and allowing new things to come in, we're revisiting that. Now is the opportunity with this, this second Aries new moon reactivating that energy to look again and say, okay, if you didn't do that, it's all repeated. Do you see? Do you see now how it's all repeating? How it's the same thing? How you need to be the one to make a different choice if you want things to change? And do you see that it is your, it is your suffering that is repeating? <laughs> it's... It's all of that. Um, so I want to pull on this. I want to pull on the upcoming new moon. Uh, because I'm interested. It's decision time. It's past decision time, actually. It's, it's turn in your papers time. It's you better have marked your answers down. Because the teacher is coming to collect the papers. Saturn has already done. Had its sextile with the north node. It's, it's time to turn it in. I, uh, yeah, um, it's a funny feeling. There is some nervousness and trepidation. I can feel the resistance. I am endeavoring simply to flow with it. So that's what this is, is flowing with it and seeing what comes out. Starting with the hermit, it's time to get real. It's time to get the fuck real. The old soul is awake, and it's not accepting anything else anymore. Uh, it's, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Eight cups crossing the hermit. It's time to leave it behind. It's time to let go. It's time to walk away from the things that are not serving us. We can't deny, there's no pretending that these cups are not broken. Whatever they look like, they don't look cracked in this deck, but it doesn't matter what they look like. We've seen inside them. We know they're empty. We know they're not holding anything. It's time to let go. Strength. Jeez Louise. Yeah. It's, again, we, the heart chakra is open. There's an understanding, a new understanding, a new emotional level of comprehension. Here's that crossroads, the card of April. Two truths, time to pick a direction. It's become more and more obvious. 
which direction to go. There is only one good choice to let go. Again, just resistance is futile and being led by fear isn't serving us. It isn't suiting us. It's not satisfying anymore. There is a desire. Yeah. Six of Pentacles. There is a desire. There's a recognition we've been given to the wrong things. And we want to give to the things that serve us. The things that give back. That actually reciprocate. And it's just, it's time. <laughs> Two of Cups. It's time for the new soulmate connections. It's time for these new soul contracts between old souls to take place. It's time to give to this. <clears throat> it's time for balance. I mean, it's all, again, there's one good option. Leaving behind the karma, learning the lessons, stopping the resistance of the flow, going with it, giving to the thing that we want the thing that gives back the thing that is balanced the thing that's satisfying and nourishing at a soul level and i want one more because it's judgment <clears throat> um again just undeniable undeniable it's time it's time <laughs> judgment's passed saturn's collecting the tests And it's happening quickly. Knight of Swords on top. The energy is picking up speed. Trust your soul. Flow with it. Just, just, whatever feels good, go with it. And if there's fear, lean into the fear. Lean into the fear. <sighs> okay. Well, wow, okay, immediately I haven't done anything yet. I'm still gonna shuffle, but yeah, the hanged man just jumped out. New perspectives and it's time to move. The new perspective has been realized. Again, the soul is awake, it's very clear, it is obvious what direction to go. It's, it's time to move forward with that. I can't even get these cards back together. All right. Beloved universe, give me the energy of the soulmate cycle, which is indicative of the greater societal energies, as influenced, as affected by this upcoming new moon in Aries, taking all of the energy with it of the surrounding aspects and of that throwback. Just what's going on? What is going on? And I will cut the cards. It's just, it's long overdue. It is time for a change. It's long overdue. It's time for a change. Yeah, why are we here? Because it's aligned, because it's time. <laughs> Because there's a lot of introspection, contemplation happening right now, and the realization that now is the time to act. We've already waited past. We, we've waited past. The teacher's gone around the classroom, picked up everybody else's test. It's, it's time. In fact, they've been waiting. They gave you extra time. <laughs> they've been waiting for this, but now the bell is rung, everybody else is gone, it's getting into the lunch period, and you're gonna just, you're gonna have to turn in your paper. You're going to have to go. You're going to have to give that presentation, hearkening back to that previous energy. It, yeah, that's what it is. What's fueling that? It doesn't matter. This, again, it is that presentation, that waiting to give the presentation. And the longer that you wait, the more nervous you become about it. So just go. Just do it. You're going to have to. Nobody is leaving until you give your presentation. So realized you're causing yourself more stress by putting it off and, and just act, just do it. It's time. That's just what the energy is at least. So I'm going to cut. And after the cut is the lovers. You can't make this up. It's the choice. It's the choice made by the universe. 
the choice to open up, the choice to cut out that third party energy, to go with the flow. What is the flow towards? The soulmate connection. Oh, I mean, let's go deeper. What's the flow towards? Come on, the four of cups, the cup that was rejected, that we're now going, oh yeah, that is the thing. I rejected it because of these other cups and now I'm realizing these cups had nothing in them. These are part of those eight cups. It's it, And it's time to let that go. It's time to open up. It's time to express. It's time to get real, get vulnerable. Give the damn presentation. The karmic debts are due. The karmic debts are being collected. For the purpose of healing, expansion, growth, what our souls desire and have intended for our own selves. It's all a part of this plan. It's, it's time. It's time to get on board with your own destiny. <laughs> That's, this is, I'm speaking in terms of the soulmate cycle, which applies to the general collective as well. But just, yeah, no more fighting the feeling. No more pushing things back. No more waiting. No more resistance. Go. That's it. Saturn says go. <laughs> you go. What's on top? Liberation. Set yourself free. Yeah, it's the same. Again, realizing that holding back is what's causing all the pain. Not acting is... is we're just keeping ourselves trapped. We have the option to liberate ourselves all along. How do we do that? By flowing with our energy. What does that mean? Expressing our emotions, speaking our truth, following our own energy. Jeez, Will. Okay. What's going on? Give me the soulmate cycle. From the angle of this activating new moon in Aries and everything that's coming along with it. I am pulling specifically on connections, but this applies to every level of energy, as always, masculine and feminine, which we have within all of us. The masculine and feminine energies represented within the connections and at the broader level of society. So it's a lot, it's gonna be a lot. But the general, the, the gist of it is let go. Let it happen. Just lean back. And when there's fear, acknowledge it and then lean into it. Move wherever the fear is telling you not to go. Because it's that resistance that we have the choice. If you're afraid of giving the presentation, give the presentation. Don't torture yourself sitting there going, oh my god, I'm so nervous, I don't want to go, oh my god, everybody else go first, you're just, it's needless suffering, you have the choice, fear is there, the purpose of fear is to help us see through it, to see that it is an illusion, to see that if we just lean into it, if we go through it anyway, there's no danger, there's no threat, there's nothing to be afraid of, it's time to move, we know what we want, the masculine energy and the feminine energy. I mean, it, it all comes together. We know what we want. We're, we want a new start. We want a new beginning. We want something fresh. We want what's over there, not what's here. What's here is not serving us. It's time to walk away. <sighs> what's fueling that? Jesus Christ, liberation. Yeah, yellow, yellow action, willpower, sacral and solar plexus chakra. It's, it's freeing our own selves. It's taking action towards this thing that we've been looking at. That we know we want to go towards. Going towards it would feel good. It would feel like liberation. We can liberate ourselves. We have that choice. It doesn't take anyone or anything else. We don't need permission. We don't need anything to change. There is always a way. <laughs> you just choose. Nothing is impossible. You just go towards it. You go towards it. Follow the flow of the energy that that's where the liberation is in following the good feeling <sighs> energy of the connections right now and also to some extent the mind space what's on top come on <sighs> fucking justice <sighs> it is time for one thing to end 
so that another can begin. It's time for things to come to balance. It's viewing these connections as justice because they are. What does justice mean? What is divine justice? It's that which is in alignment with the natural order. It's components that are so like at the broadest universal perspective, judged by the highest perspective, that the balancing of the coming together of these intrinsically, inherently cooperative components is profoundly balancing. It's profoundly gratifying, satisfying, just. It is two cooperative components that have asked for one another and that the universe sees these are the details of the asking and they fit together. They dovetail, they, they work, they balance one another out. That's what these connections are about. The universe just wants to balance energy. That's what it's trying to do. And the energy of the connections right now is things coming to balance, is divine justice. That's powerful. Um, and again, it is, it's consciously being recognized as this. There is a, an awareness, a greater level of awareness that this would be justice for both parties, justice for all. a higher level of justice in that way. What's in the 3D? Minor conflict, minor resistance, struggling against it, but weakly. It, it's a weak struggle. It's things spilling out anyway. It is the realization that resistance is futile. That we have the choice to resist the energy and be pulled kicking and screaming or to flow with it on purpose to deliberately surrender to it to discover that is our power at any given moment to liberate ourselves from that resistance what's in the soul knight of wands passion bravery an impulse I, there's there's a drive to this where once it was a flippy floppy in and out it's it is a drive um there's borderline obsession here it is a fire being lit under <laughs> under the ass it's it's time to move at the soul level the soul wants to go the soul says go <laughs> come to balance there's a little bit of resistance to it, but ultimately there is this broader awareness that it's right. It's it's right. It feels good. It, it feels just. What is right is what is just. What is just, just is. It doesn't make sense to the brain. It just is. That's That's what makes it right. The soul knows this. The soul says, go go towards the soulmate connection. It's time. What is the hidden message of the universe here? Hidden energy. Something that was prayed for. This, that we have been manifesting this together this whole time. And that justice will not be hidden from, will not be delayed again it doesn't matter what kind of resistance there is to it the energy is flowing in a way that just you can try to fight it but it just doesn't it doesn't work because at the soul level your soul is flowing with it your own energy has already gone with it your own energy wants this wants to come to balance there's a realization that it would be following our own desire to do this to come to balance, to flow with that energy. And so there's that resistance, there's the resistance of the ego, but then the immediate realization that we're fighting our own desire. We're fighting against what we actually want. We're fighting against good feeling, and then why are we doing that? Why, why? This is, this is what was asked for. This is what we want. It's desired. We didn't just ask for it on a whim and the universe goes, eh, here you go. No, this is aligned over lifetimes. This is asked for at the soul level.
the highest level repeatedly this it's a deeper intention it's a true heart's desire it's the prayers whispered in the secret sacred silence of the heart what's the outcome position it's three of cups i like that very much it's communication it's a strongly aspected communication in spite of this resistance again resistance is futile the spigot is wide open there's no shutting this valve back down because it feels good and it's undeniable as soon as we shut it off it, it feels terrible and there's the realization there's this intrinsic knowing that no nah, this is that's not right shutting this down isn't right something about this something about flowing with this is the right thing to do it's the just thing to do <laughs> even <sighs> opening up i like that i like that very much um making a move so i'm gonna clarify let's clarify gonna clarify with the animals today and at the bottom of that is destiny age of aquarius too pluto in aquarius having a powerful effect on this overall and when it retrogrades next month that's a big deal too it's just increasing the pressure again also it's it's manifestation it's the realization that when two people are asking for the same thing and the universe sees oh these are light components let's put them together they are manifesting one another that's that's destined that type of energy that level of alignment that balances so much at once the universe is pushing for that because we've asked it to what's underneath that you can't make this up it's the three of cups what is destined this the communication the opening up the coming together the universe celebrating this celebrating justice being served divine justice natural order balance of masculine and feminine these soul connections <sighs> yeah it, it's tremendously balancing it clears up so much what's under that you can't make this shit up it clears up so much so much karma the balancing of these connections which are rare they are special because of how old and how aligned they are and how long the universe has been trying to help this come to fruition to assist us in our own desire in living out this destiny this destiny this celebration this opening up this balancing of masculine and feminine which does what? Wipes away a tremendous amount of karma. And what's under that? It's all hinging on walking away from those eight broken cups. It's time to let go. Time to let go and take this journey. Work together. The masculine is only more and more curious about the feminine. Again, can't take their eyes off of her. It's time to come towards it. I know I keep saying it's time because it's been time. It's only going to get more time. <laughs> it's again. It... Time is up. The teacher is collecting the tests. There's a certain amount of, of in between, of patience that the universe has. It's passing that point. The clock is ticking. It's We're well past that. It's almost 4.44 here. Let's clarify, why is justice here? To be delivered. Because it's happiness for everybody. It's a good thing for everybody. It's the highest good. It's what everybody wants. It's a win-win-win. And it's time to stop fighting that. I mean... It's just... 
just ludicrous. Why is justice here? Okay, cards getting sticky. Yeah, it is that one, it just, it's an undeniable truth that this is what's wanted by everybody, <laughs> by the universe, at the soul level. It's inescapable, and it's time to take action. There's a lot of healing there, too. It's just there's a, an awareness of how good this feels and how good it would feel to go towards it and how much benefit there is in it. What's on top? I don't know how I feel about that. I'm just, I don't know how I feel. It's, it's again, it's that a lot. It just feels like a lot. It's just a lot of cups. It clears up a lot. What? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Yeah, it's a lot. It feels really good. <laughs> it, it opens the floodgates of this flow. This is not just the spigot. This is the whole dam breaking. It's so much good feeling and balance and justice and just... There is even, there's a little bit of confusion over why it feels so good, but it's mostly just, it's abundantly clear how good it feels. Again, oh, that wanted to jump off the top. What's that? Look at that. Knight of Wands. Yeah. And what's underneath? That balanced energy, that King of Pentacles, letting go of the pentacle, taking a new journey, following passion, led by the soul, moving towards these connections taking action, speaking truth, boldly. Uh, yeah, and just, it would feel really good. Mm. There's, a, there's a lot, there's a lot of energy here. I'm endeavoring to just feel it. Already we've been immediately tied to the outcome position, which should make sense with justice. It seems to be say it seems to be the universe saying this is happening. Again, resistance is futile. It's time for the karmic debts to be paid. It's time for the lessons to be learned. It's time to give your presentation. It's time to turn in the test. It just is. That's it. That's that's what it is. Why is the five of wands here? Resistance is futile. Those toothpicks are not gonna hold back the floodgates. Why is the five of wands here? It's just a bunch of bull crap. It's it's silly. It's excuses that aren't even sticking. They're not even convincing the person making them. Okay. All right. I got cards jumping out. It's just it's just one. <sighs> it's a clear choice. One of these pentacles is way heavier than the other. Way better than the other. Way just go it's go time it's time to stop fucking around and just do it what's on top queen of pentacles to go towards the soul connection time to find some mm, to know that you have all of the uh, how do i say this all of the options it doesn't quite make sense that that everything is in your hands you have everything you need there's nothing to hide from there's nothing to run from there's nothing to fight you can't get it wrong it, it is a little bit of the energy of realizing you can't get it wrong you just you follow what feels good and then you're satisfied by following what feels good and you know that whatever happens it's your destined path the path is filling in beneath your feet whatever happens is for the highest good that can be trusted 
it's time to make this decision and trust that whatever happens is for the highest good. It's for your benefit. It's for our benefit collectively. What's read with the Queen of Pentacles? Four of Swords, which is the hidden energy of the universe. It's healing either way. Again, either way. Whatever happens, happens. It's, it's to our benefit. It is healing either way. It's the realization that we're good, that there is no threat. That intuition can be trusted. And that the satisfaction is just found in trusting it, in following it, no matter what. That's, that's liberation. Again, follow your energy because it went where it went. There, it doesn't take any more questioning. It's shutting down the brain, shutting down the questioning, shutting down the fear, that impulse to hold on to the pentacle, to grip onto what we perceive as stable because it's tangible or because it already is established. It's time to let that go and go with the flow. The soul knows. It knows exactly what it wants. It knows there's nothing stopping it. There is nothing holding it back. And the only thing that would satisfy it is to flow with its own energy. It knows. It knows that's what feels good. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Why is the Knight of Wands here? He's got passion. Oh my god, I can't... Oh shit. I might have just dropped more than one, I'm not sure. <laughs> no, okay, just one. I'm hardly able to shuffle. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Page of Wands. It's passion. It's a lot of wands. It's time for new adventure. It, the soul, your soul wants to explore. It wants to adventure. It wants to grow. It wants to get out there and mix things up and try things and experience things and and follow the impulse of itself. That's what it wants. It's just the soul saying, go for it. Go for it. Don't think. Act. It's the satisfaction of asking that person out just because you wanted to and it doesn't matter what they say. You're following your own energy. You grow from that. You balance. You feel good. You gain confidence. All of these things. It's the soul knows what it wants. It just is undeniable how good it feels. Yeah, on top. And <sighs> on the f and on the flip side of how bad it feels not to do this. It's a growing understanding <sighs> of of why you follow good feeling. <laughs> And that good feeling can be trusted. If something feels this good, it has to be good. If something feels this bad, then maybe it's bad. <laughs> maybe it's not the thing you're meant to be doing. Maybe things that are painful are just there for us to have the contrast of the pain and then go, gosh, I'm not going to do that again. Hmm, shocking revelation. Maybe putting your hand on the hot stove is not a thing that you should continue doing just because other people have done it repeatedly maybe it's enough to do it once go ouch now i know hot stove equals burn equals pain i don't touch hot stoves anymore this is coming to clarity this was a big point of confusion it is a lot of that conflating pain and misery with love. They are not the same thing. No. <laughs> it's realizing that love is meant to feel good. Love feels good. If it feels good, it is good. Love, light, life, these are all the same frequency of things. If any one of them is absent, if it doesn't feel good, it's not love. You can let it go. You can let it serve you in teaching you that it's not wanted, that it's not love. Knowing with clarity what we don't want helps us know with clarity what we do. But now we know. We know. 
and the soul is screaming, go towards the soulmate connection. It's, oh, at every level. And my cards are sliding all over the place and underneath, because it showed itself, now I have to show it. Underneath that liberation is the high priestess. It's all coming up and it's just undeniable how good this feels. It is a calling to trust intuition, but what that means is trusting good feeling and also trusting that if it feels bad, it is bad. Get away from it, <laughs> leave it behind. Go towards what feels good. What is red with the five of cups? What did we just fucking say? Go away from it. If it feels bad, it is bad. Keep the fuck walking. Walk away. You have the choice. It is within your power now. And it's time now. It's time in the soul. The soul is sick of this. The soul is sick of drinking out of eight broken cups. And just wallowing in misery and thinking that's all there is. It knows there's more. The two cups still standing. The soulmate connection has shown everybody this in a clear way. It's time to let this go. It's time to stop sleeping on hot stoves. <laughs> and realize that lesson is learned. The karma is done. We don't need to do that anymore. We get to feel good. We go towards what feels good. We trust it. We trust that it's serving us. It is to our benefit. Shut down the brain. Shut down the ego. All of the programming. All the bullshit. Walk away. It's time. The soul is screaming for it. God. Our cards flying all over the place here. All right. Four swords. What is this four swords about? energy of the universe it is red with justice in this instance specifically what's the four swords about this has been lined up a long time a long 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 time it's just it's balance at every level that's why it's taking so long that's why the universe is working so hard at it to get it all to come together because it's a lot of pieces it's a lot of moving parts but they're all lining up and it's just it's time for this profound healing and balance to come to place why is the four swords here It's a massive course correction. Just, it's time. These are high level soul connections that are profoundly balancing. This has been the plan all along. In fact, I had this revelation, this understanding this morning about my own life. Because I, I had this accident in 2017 and I was going down a certain path. A path that I wasn't happy with, but that I was sort of resigned to. And shortly after that, that resignation, I had this accident. I lost my job. My entire life changed. My entire consciousness changed. I forgot who I was for a while. I got to rebuild myself in a new form. It showed me a lot of things. And this morning, I was realizing I used to always frame that in my mind as, a, well, I was headed down the wrong path and I manifested a course correction. But you know what? It was all part of the plan. It was part of the plan for me to be off course so that I could have the experience of the course being corrected. That was all by design. <laughs> there was no mistake. It's true for these connections too. It's true for all of this. All of this is by design. All of it, the resistance, the meandering, the apparently being off course. You have to be off course or perceive yourself as such in order to be able to perceive being returned to the course and knowing what that feels like. But all of it is the course. It's all the plan. It's all in alignment. Just because it, it cannot be stopped. It's been the plan all along. When I say all along, I mean from the beginning of everything 
from the beginning of existence, from the beginning of Earth. <laughs> All of this has been the plan. What's on top? Come on, Emperor. It's been the plan all along, and there's that eclipse, the one that we're pulling on. The new moon, I know it's a different kind of eclipse. It doesn't matter, it's the symbolism. The em it's been the plan all along for the Emperor to fight this, to be totally flabbergasted and bewildered and confused and re fighting resistant to these connections. It, it was known that's what was going to happen. It's a part of all of this. Because it's a part of this massive balancing of masculine and feminine energy. The Emperor has to come to the Empress willingly. That's how it works. And that means they had to be unwilling for a while. What's read with the Emperor? Holy fucking shit. Alright. You can't make this up. The Emperor has to come to the Empress willingly. That's the Empress. <laughs> I just I just won the lottery in tarot. <laughs> it's been the plan all along. Come on. It was known the masculine aspect would resist this. He had to come to his own conclusions to open up to the Empress. To realize this is the celebration, this is what's wanted. The rising of the Emperor's own feminine energy. Driving them towards the Empress. This is... Oh, and it's balance. It's healing. It's justice for all. <sighs> That's exquisite. That is fucking exquisite. I'm taking a picture of this. <sighs> Fuck yeah. Uh, I am at a loss for words right now. That just that just blew my mind. <laughs> it's it is divine union at the highest level taking place exactly according to plan. Oh, what's this Three of Cups? All right, final outcome position, which technically is red with the Empress here, which is connected to the Emperor, coming to this conclusion that it's a good thing. It's a good thing to feel good. And what feels good is opening up to the Empress. What is, what's this Three of Cups? Holy shit. Oh, that just lit, that just lit up everything in me. I am feeling this. Tuned in, tapped in, turned the fuck on. Wicked. Wow. Why is this three of cups here? <laughs> Alright, I got two cards jumping out. Hold on. Which means the rest of these go back. And we're back where we started after that shuffling. The seven of wands comes back. It's irresistible. It's it's utterly irresistible. This is unstoppable, this flow. It's happening the way it is intended. Why do I say it's irresistible? Because the card that jumped out, first of all, is the sun. You can't stop the sun from coming up, and why would you want to? Which is what's being realized here. Why would you want to fight off this warmth, this happiness, this growth, this good feeling? It's the happiest card that I can pull. And next to the Empress, my God, it's just glowing. It's just, it's, it's gushing. It's realizing this is good. This feels good. It is good. I want this. Again, the Emperor has to go willingly. We have the free will to choose suffering at a certain point. I think we get tired of it. I think we're getting tired of the pain. We're getting tired of sitting on the hot stove. We're realizing there's another way. We get to feel good. We can choose to feel good. We can choose to fight it off. We can choose to let it in at any moment. It's just you decide. Now is the time to get up and go towards the good feeling. You're free. 
you can do that now. You have everything you need. It's red with the Queen of Pentacles, which also is the finest energy of the Empress. It's just, this feels good. The Empress energy feels good. Nothing else does. Maybe that means something. Maybe this very clear juxtaposition of not feeling good, not making me happy, not getting me anywhere versus feels good, feels happy, feels satisfying just to follow, in fact. Maybe that means I go towards it. Maybe I follow the good feeling. Maybe I open up and I speak some truths. Maybe I trust my own discernment and understand that, yeah, I've been given to the wrong things, but now I know. Now, because I, I've done it for a while, I've been drinking out of the broken cups, now I can realize that's not the way to go. And because I did that, because I experienced that contrast, I know with clarity which direction it is I want to go. What direction is that? It's the direction of opening up, of speaking truths, of flowing my emotion, flowing with my emotion, following my good feeling, following the impulse. There's that page of wands that comes back. Following the curiosity, the passion. This takes me straight back to the soul. It was crossing there, following the impulse of the soul. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. It's on top. Five of Swords. We've been short-sighted. We can't shortcut this. Why? Because the world is immediately after it. Again. It's, it's time to go all in because that's the only thing that is even remotely satisfying. It's time. It's making sense. There is desire. Actual desire to come towards the Empress energy within and without at every level the rising of it the feeling of how good it feels how much power we have for our own satisfaction and happiness it's just everything is driving us towards this it is driving the emperor and the empress together it's driving the emperor towards the empress i should say that's how it works uh just fuck <laughs> I like that. I like that very much. I'm going to pull a final three cards and a crossing card. I doubt it will be anything different, but you never know. I am open to all possibilities. Whatever happens, happens. I'm just going with the flow here. I don't know what's coming out. The universe seems to be emphatically stating this is all happening the way it's supposed to and it is it is happening the emperor wants to come towards the empress just a brief shuffle and the lovers came back it's it's by design what else do you want to say universe wrap this up in whatever way summarize advice i don't care whatever you want to say let it be spoken. Justice is being served. Okay. Came back. Came back. Liberation promised. Uh, it feels like, yeah, it doesn't matter what happens. It doesn't matter the specifics of how any of this plays out. It's liberation. It's good feeling. It's open flow. What's on top? I like that. We have a direct escalation. Four of Wands. It is things coming to balance. Certainly. It's also the pathway to Ten Pentacles. What's red with the Nine Pentacles? Eight swords, liberation, liberation from the imprisonment of our own overthinking. I like that there, especially. What's right with the four of wands, king of cups, balance. Going all in. It's time to let go. It's time to stop clinging. 
it's time for this king to get up, to realize he's had the freedom all along. There's nothing keeping him here. All it takes is the decision to get up and go towards what feels good. And what feels good, bringing this Ace of Cups towards the Empress. Away from the disappointment, yeah. Le this tying directly to the Five of Cups in the soul, which ties us to that Eight of Cups, walking away, which we can do at any time. There's nothing holding us back. There's no distracting us from how good this feels. Because it's, and I didn't know this was reversed, but it's the Seven of Cups reversed. This is the Seven of Cups, red with the Emperor. All of that confusion becoming very clear. Becoming very clear. Because there's only one thing that feels right. There's only one good option. There's one truth here. Queen of Swords tying back to the final card in the outcome position. What is that one truth that feels good? Going towards the soulmate connection. Seven of Wands. Which is... There are so many repeating cards. No longer resisting this. Flowing with the energy. And there's the Ten Pentacles. There it is. The Four of Wands leading into the Ten Pentacles. By doing all of this, we don't just liberate ourselves. We don't just grow and expand. We... We yet it all we realize it's all right here right now ready for us to grasp it's liberation either way whether or not anybody specific this is even about the runners this is not i don't care i'm not pulling specifically on a person that ran and whatever this is just the soulmate connections there's a higher level to this a lot of those connections were just there to prepare us for the real thing. There's there's karma there to blow out, but it's happened. No matter what, things are coming to balance. No matter what, the soulmate connections are coming together. Justice is served. Healing occurs. The Empress rises and divine union within takes place, which is balance, which is happiness which feels really good. It's open flow and it is driving and attracting everything at a higher level because of that. As within, so without. Again, we balance this energy within ourselves and then we are available as a cooperative component to the universe at a different level to be aligned with other balanced energies. And that is a profound level of justice. That's the highest degree. That is ticks all the boxes for the universe of here are two cooperative components that don't just want each other they want self they want to be balanced within themselves and then they want to experience that without knowing that it's not necessary they don't need any completing they're self-serving self-sustaining and now i bring these two autonomous self-satisfied components together and holy Batman, we blow out all kinds of karma. Now we're, now we're thinking with portals, baby. <laughs> now we're manifesting, creating reality as a pair of 5D individuals. People who know who they are. Souls that know themselves. Liberation. One way or the other. Uh... It's go time. That's all I have to say. This blew my mind. <laughs> this is exciting. And it's just, it's good things. No matter what. No matter what. <sighs> it resonates with me. I do intend that it resonates with you for the highest good. I would love to know in what way, if it does or if it doesn't. I'd like to know that too. I mean, follow your intuition, but feel free to leave a comment, like, subscribe, whatever you feel called for. Just follow your own emotion, flow with it, and trust that everything is divinely guided. There's not only a method to this madness, there's, there's a delicious plan to all of it, and it, it's, it's playing out exactly as intended by all of us. That's the reading. 
I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a magical, transcendental, inspired, divinely wonderful afternoon. My beautiful collective, I love you so much. Thank you for being here. Stay sexy.